Good morning all. I am Nimal Dhanyad of class 10th. Hope you all know today's speciality. Today, 16th September is observed as International Day for the Preservation of Ozone Layer or World Ozone Day. Why is it celebrated? What is ozone? Ozone or O3 is a molecule formed by three atoms of oxygen. Ozone is a deadly poison. However, at the higher levels of atmosphere, ozone performs an essential function. It shields the surface of the earth from ultraviolet or UV radiation from the sun. This radiation is highly damaging to organisms and it even causes skin cancer in human beings. How is ozone formed? The higher energy UV radiations split apart some molecular oxygen O2 into free oxygen atoms. These atoms then combine with the molecular oxygen to form ozone as shown in the video. Ozone is only a trace of gas in the atmosphere. Only about 3 molecules for every 10 million molecules of air. But it performs an important function. Like a sponge, the ozone layer absorbs bits of radiation hitting earth from the sun. Even though we need some of the sun's radiation to live, too much of it can damage living things. This ozone layer acts as a shield for life on earth. Ozone is good at trapping a type of radiation called ultraviolet radiation or UV light which can penetrate organisms protective layers like skin damaging the DNA molecules. Now the ozone layer is getting thinner. The amount of ozone in the atmosphere began to drop sharply in the 1980s. This decrease has been linked to the synthetic chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs which are used as refrigerants and in fire extinguisher. A chlorofluorocarbon is a molecule that contains elements carbon, chlorine and fluorine. CFCs are everywhere, mostly in refrigerants and plastic products. Businesses and consumers use them because they are inexpensive. But in 1987, the United Nations Environment Program UNEP, succeeded in forging an agreement to freeze CFC production at 1986 levels. It's now mandatory for all manufacturing companies to make CFC free refrigerators throughout the world. Ozone holes are popular names for areas of damage to the ozone layer and these patches have been mainly found in the Antarctica area. The Ozone Day There is an history behind the Ozone Day. There is one unprecedented act of humanity in which every country on earth came together. It was the Montreal Protocol. Scientists realized that introduction of CFCs, the wonder chemicals of 20th century, led to the depletion of ozone layer. The people's lives transformed with the introduction of CFCs and they were so versatile. But in 1974, Sherwood Rowland and Mario Molina predicted that Earth's natural sunshield, the ozone layer, was being eaten by CFCs at a terrifying rate. We humans felt a responsibility to actually warn society that something could happen. When researched, there was an enormous hole in the stratosphere in Antarctica region. So, in order to heal that patch or the ozone hole, in 1994, the General Assembly proclaimed 16 September as the International Day for Preservation of Ozone Layer, commemorating the date in 1987 on which the Montreal Protocol on subjects that deplete the ozone layer was signed. Chlorine atom is highly reactive. This results in thinning in ozone layer. These UV rays penetrate through the atmosphere and reach the Earth's surface. These harmful rays affect human health by causing skin cancer, blindness, etc. It also affects plant growth and aquatic life, thus disturbing the entire ecosystem. It is predicted that if the measures continue, the ozone layer will heal within 50 to 60 years. 
let's hope for a better future as a student we can contribute in reducing the ozone depletion avoid the use of gases or harmful gases do not destroy forests plant trees stop the usage of cfcs use biodegradable polymers reduce emission from factories and automobiles there is only one mother earth to protect earth without ozone is a like like a house without a roof so go green and reduce the ozone layer depletion in this special occasion let's take an oath to protect the ozone layer and save life on earth thank you and have a cheerful day Thank you.